This past season was an emotional roller coaster for defensive back Rodarius Williams. He experienced the highest of highs and the lowest of lows, but never wavered through it all. At this point in life, like, oh, I don't know, like, who gonna be gone next? Rodarius Williams knows firsthand just how short life can be. Toward the end of his junior season in 2019, Rodarius had four members of his family pass away in a span of just a couple of weeks. First, like my little cousin, he got like shot in a drive-by. I get a call from my mom, like he was in a drive-by, got shot in the head. And then like a couple weeks later, my great aunt died you know, from just bad health issues. And then my older cousin died like a week after my aunt passed, you know, just wrong place, wrong time. And then after that, my grandma died, great grandma from cancer. It was really rough because I was just losing, you know, our family members like back to back. And I just, I remember calling like, why us? You know, why is this happening? Despite it being one of the toughest times in his life, he found strength in the sport he loves. He is my strongest baby. He is the strongest one. So, um, I mean, if he's hurting, I mean, I know sometimes he hurt though, and I know that because he's human, but if he's hurting, uh, he don't really show it a lot. And like I said, again, he just go on the field and play and do what he have to do, but he'd be so strong for all of us. You know, when we be the weak ones, he the strong one. I'm like, oh no, you can cry on my shoulder, but he does it. Rodarius is no stranger to struggle. Growing up in a rough part of Shreveport, Louisiana, he's seen it all. The way I grew up, like, I already had like a conscious, like a mindset of like to expect the worst, you know. So like, like I ain't no type of person that's just gonna like fold and crumble. Like I always knew how to persevere and get through certain things because I like built up a mindset like within myself. Like, like this is my family. Like I, I watched it my whole life. Like I, I watched family divide over drugs, alcohol, like crime, all that. So like I already got a mindset of like this how it is, and I always knew like. That ain't gonna be me. Like, I'm gonna find a different route. Like, though, with all my mama kids, like, she always made sure that we would, like, see a different picture. For Rodarius and his brother, football was in that picture. I just knew that here I, they had to play some sports because that was just the way of saving their lives to me. If you pull up the crime rate, there's just, just, there ain't too many people that make it out of here. And, um, that's another thing that just keep me going, just knowing that, especially for two African-American male, you know, I just feel like they beat the odds already. When they went to college, graduated high school, they had already beat the odds. Rodarius came to Oklahoma State in 2016 and made an immediate impact after his redshirt freshman season, starting every single game of his career but he says something he recently accomplished away from football means more to him than any game he's ever played. Um, he's the first of our family, you know, that I know of that has this, a college degree. And so, and my grandmother just always used to tell him, and that was the rock of our family. She always used to tell him and the boys and my girl, she, how proud she was of us and me, you know, cause we came a long way. Achieving a degree, I, I ain't even know like, it me so much more, you know what I mean? Like, like my mama broke down. Like, like she broke down. Like she couldn't like believe it. Like that it's been done for me to come to college, like four years, like degree. Like there was a change ball game. Rodarius not only hopes to play in the NFL, he also has big plans to help his family and his community back home. And he says none of that would be possible without Oklahoma State University. I definitely feel like that this program, like, like the advisors, like the academic center, like the coaches, like shaped and molded me, like, like rebirthed me in a sort of way. You know, now I got a mind frame of like, man, we finna create generational wealth. Like, gave me a whole different mindset of what, of, of way of living and life. And I'm, I'm grateful for college. Like college is the best thing that ever happened to me.